So it was before they started dating, which was a little bit before the sophomores in high school. Kate had a New Year's Eve party at the house. And trying to do some high level parenting, I met them, each kid at the door, and uh, asked them for their coat. You know, I'd take their coat, and that would be in my opportunity to see if they had any beer or anything else in their pockets. And Jimmy was the only kid that wouldn't give me his coat. And I went back into the kitchen and I said, Jennifer, I don't like that kid. He's got something in his coat. Well, what I've come to realize is what he had in his coat was a big, huge heart. Mary Catherine Ann, as I write these vows to you, I continue to go back through all the pictures, memories, and wonderful moments we have had in the past six years, eight months, and eight days. Becoming your wife was something I had dreamed about since we were in high school, and falling in love with you so young has been everything I could have ever prayed for. You have added so much joy, love, and laughter to my life, and I promise to be faithful to you and cherish you today and for all the rest of my life. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Thank you. Wow. Ah, something like that. I'm good. I love you. So I don't know if Jimmy really remembers this, but it was me, my dad, and Jimmy in uh, the room. And for some reason, we were telling Jimmy to say something to Kate that, like, wasn't exactly the truth. But what Jimmy said next totally changes, like, the way I acted in my life. He said, I tell Kate everything. I cannot lie to her. I love her way too much, and I'm marrying this girl. Looks like he was true to his word. I've seen them grow up with each other for six and a half years, and I must say, they are perfect for each other. In the novel of Kate and Jimmy, there's been concerts, sports events, dates, vacations, even just doing nothing together. Through it all, my love for you has grown more and more. As we begin the next chapter of our book, I am thrilled to read the pages God has written for us. I promise to always tell you how proud I am of you, and I promise to always be your best friend and chase your dreams with you. I promise to always reminisce about our high school and college experiences and the years that built our foundation. Music is something that has always been a great love of mine. It has an immense effect on people who cheer you up, keep you upbeat, or even make you feel like you are. I promise to you that I always fill your life with music and keep the beat alive. Jimmy, thank you for loving me so loyally, fiercely, and with so much patience. Thank you for always choosing our friendship and for always finding small ways to make me feel like the most important woman in the world. <laughs> your love is the greatest treasure of my life and I will love you forever and always. I promise to be your best friend forever and always. I love you, Kate. Oh, same time? Same time. Okay. Okay. Ready, go. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Did you see it? I'm pulling it out. Okay. This is, is this like a custom album? Yeah. This is sick. <laughs> that is awesome. I, Jimmy, take you, Kate, to be my wife. I, Kate, take you, Jimmy, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you, in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. Kate and Jimmy, you both complete each other perfectly, and your love has been a sweet one to watch over the years. I want you to look around on all sides of you and see how many people came together who love and support you. Now look at each other and see your person whom you have chosen to spend the rest of your life with. Not only do you have the encouragement from everyone in this room, but you have each other and always will. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy Hartman.